Head of Research Clusters from Executive Director into Research Dean. And under that, we have institutes, centers, research groups. So in terms of management and administration, key performance indicators related to research will be reported to Deputy Vice Chancellor Research. And key, uh, key performance indication, indicators related to teaching uh, will be reported to Deputy uh, Vice Chancellor of Academics. And in between, we have uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor Hugh, Hugh Student Affairs and Alumni. So in nutshell, UTM has two components of in schools or faculties. One, what we call as SNT based science, electrical engineering, civil, chemical, natural resources, mechanical. This is what we, in place at the moment. So we are starting from Professor Trai, 15th of April. We are going to establish a new faculty called Facul School of Business and Advanced Technology. Uh, in the form of a uh, new name. The name will be known as Tun Razak School. Yeah, we just call it Tun Razak School. It is mainly to, to, um, um, to be the leading uh, technology center in Kuala Lumpur. And we are going to have informatics and virtual security school. And we are now in the process of formulation of petroleum Engineering and renewable energy. So after that, chemical engineering will be will stand as chemical engineering faculty. They are not sharing with uh, petroleum engineering or gas and gas engineering. So gas engineering will be under petroleum engineering. Yeah. Non-science and technology. We are now having faculty of Islamic civilizations, as well as uh, Mahadev School or Padana School on science, technology, and innovation policy. This is postgraduate level. Uh, looking after policy on science, technology, innovation. And we are going to set up Language Academy. I think Language Academy is already there. In terms of research, we have alliances, we call it. Therefore, we call RA. RA is not research assistant, but research alliances. Uh, and we have 11 alliances, K-Economy, Infocom, Transportation, transport Construction, Water, Sustainability, Nanoscience, Biotechnology. Actually, this presentation is to what of Engineers, I just want to know uh, our your views on this, and then we would like to discuss few things. And under research alliances, we have research centers, which is 32 at the moment. This is some of them. Yeah, uh, Institute of Environment and Water Resource Management, Chemical Engineering Pilot Plan. Okay, this is very important. Uh, the undergraduate number of UTM students were 18,000 January 2009, and it became 14,000 December 2009. Yeah. We will further try to reduce the number to 13,000 end of this year. Whereas the number of postgraduate students of 6,000, we are trying to get more than 7,000, most likely up to 8,000. So we are reducing undergraduate but increasing postgraduate. The academic staff will be 2,000, of which 10,000 or 10% 10 will be foreign staff. Yeah? And PhD student, uh, PhD staff in UTM will be more than 60%, we hope, by end of this year. And the number of PhD students will be, at the moment, it's about 2,700. We are trying to get 5,000 end of this year. So this is the uh, major uh, uh, restructuring of the prof student profile of UTM. And for the past many, many years and many, many months, we were the first in terms of employability uh, among Malaysian University. Probably we are very close to Singapore. So you get jobs not only in Malaysia, but also in Singapore. Yes, so I think that makes the whole thing very interesting. And this is also important. This is postgraduate enrollment in engineering and technology. And this is for local university from 2003, and this is the number in UTM. You can see that the, the, uh, the contribution of UTM in terms of postgraduate enrollment in engineering and technology. Technology includes IT, uh, geo-information, surveying, what else? Causes like that, eh? which is about 43% in the country at the moment. So that's very big in terms of uh, student population in UTM. Okay, we talk about new economic models. 